we've uh, like you know spoken about some of the things that are uh, coming in the long term and we are also releasing a update uh, pretty soon so these up uh, like this update will include quite a few uh, features as well um uh, just to go over some uh, we are uh, also like how we've introduced the concept of input for uh, water producing assets like wells uh, lakes and uh, small wells we are also now introducing uh, uh input for power production asset so you might have gone through the blog uh, we've introduced this asset called grease which uh, will be available in the store shortly so grease is uh, an uh, asset that you will require uh, to whenever you're collecting power from your wind turbines and solar panels uh, initially we are uh, like we'll be uh, selling it to the through the store we will uh, find in a loop Uh, to loop it in uh, any ex- existing economic loop uh, once uh, this input is uh, implemented as well so later on uh, uh, like we are we are looking at ways to kind of uh, source this from the ecosystem itself uh, moving on to the uh, next uh, update we are bringing in uh, the 3d animal animation so uh in the first version you will be able to uh, just see the animals uh, if you have them uh, if you have a particular animal it will come uh, and you know uh, stay outside your shed it will uh, react when you feed and everything and uh, in the first version we are just getting a, a few sets of animals so just very uh, like a few number of animals would be there so if you have that animal it will be uh, shown outside the the shed that you have and it will also be uh, animated so it will uh, around and do a lot of uh, activities uh, uh, that you can see on your farm and uh, in the upcoming version we will also increase all the uh, 3d animals so you'll be able to see it even if uh, you have that animal so in the first version uh we are introducing it with just uh, five to six 3d uh, animals so that's black shine uh zing basically one of each type of asset uh, is something that you will be able to see and this the same goes for grazing so uh, right now when you send your animals for grazing uh, uh, like there's no uh, visual representation for that so you will now be able to see all the animals you have sent for grazing in a new area uh, which is come uh, uh, outside your farm the main farming area so you'll be able to just uh, have a look at all the animals uh, that you've sent for grazing uh, they'll be in a particular area and uh, you can just uh, have a look at them uh, also in the grazing it will not st- start with all the animals that are there in the game uh, initially there will be just uh, uh, the set of 5 uh, to 6 animals uh, so once you send them for grazing you'll be able to see it uh if you have an animal that's not there you will not be able to see it in the first version of the game so yeah even if it's sent for grazing you'll be able to see it in the inventory but not in the grazing area uh in the upcoming version we will introduce i mean we'll get in all the 3d animals uh in the game so that you can also f- uh, find them outside your shed as well as you'll be able to see it uh, when they are sent for grazing uh apart from this we are also uh, bringing in some uh, excess in the so there are uh, a few like a, a lot of feedback that we received uh, from uh, you know the past and uh, we've incorporated that so now we have a, a all new loading animation and uh, there were uh, like some questions around you know whenever it takes some time to load uh, and there are there is an interaction going on so uh, to avoid all of these we've uh, brought in like some nice loading animations you can see our uh, the crop by its logo eating food every time uh, loading is going on and the notification center so uh, in the previous uh, like the last build we've uh, released us a notification center where you can uh, see all the uh, updates that are coming to you like it would be all your in game uh, pop ups that initially used to come right on your screen are now moved to this notification center so even uh, it won't interrupt your uh, usual gameplay but later you can just uh, 
uh, click your notifications and see all of them at a glance you can in the upcoming uh, version you will also be able to browse through them and close them directly uh, from there itself so uh, that uh, will be there uh, additionally uh, there is also like some more visual effects and vfx added and uh, one more uh, major thing is the planting seeds mini game so we are introducing uh, uh, the uh, planting seeds mini game which we spoke about earlier uh, this mini game will have a uh, will not be a part of any other game economy or economic flow uh, as for as of now so this will be a casual game uh, much similar to what we have for fishing where you can kind of start and practice uh, we'll also have some of those social events around this game uh, later on what the idea is with this is to include it uh, as a part of growing crops so uh, like this we'll also add multiple mini games to other game activities also so uh, there's more uh, uh, activity that needs to be done when planting a seed there's more activity to that needs to be done when collecting water so these will come on uh, into the game later on start off with we are just going with a casual version of this and uh, we'll have a uh, you know just review what how uh, you know what is the reaction to that and uh, how engaged people are on that and uh, we'll improve the game as well as uh, later on like i said we'll incorporate it uh, within the the cycle of the games itself so uh, which later we want to kind of add in uh, what we were speaking about is the service economy so these are uh, some of the updates uh, that we will be uh, coming up with very soon uh, so uh, like the uh, upcoming app will also be shortly released so uh, in the coming week itself so make sure you guys uh, are uh, following us on social and uh, you can get the app as soon as it's out uh, we hope you like all the animations uh, with animals and we'd love to hear your feedback on uh, the animals the grazing uh, feature and also the planting seeds uh, mini game that's coming um, okay, so we can move on to the next uh, section of this uh, call. So uh, these are some uh, questions that we received from uh, the AMA form that was sent out. Uh, I'll just be uh, picking those and uh, answering them. So this one's from uh, Jian. Uh, his question is, what is uh, the purpose of adding this mini game? So uh, yeah, Jian, like uh, I just. Uh, like we just went over uh, this so as of now when we introduce the seeding mini game uh, it's a casual uh, game and we are uh, not incorporating any other economic flow in this game so while playing this game any of your assets or uh, uh, consumables won't be used in the game it is just a casual game uh, like the fishing game so you can uh, play it and on uh, you know score uh, points in that and beat your best time in that uh, later what we will do is we will be adding it to the crop growing flow and uh, similarly we will introduce much like more such mini games to this uh, to all the game flows uh, like this uh, so at the moment uh, it's just a casual uh, game that we are bringing into uh, for you to kind of play and uh, see uh, give us uh, some feedback on it as well Okay, uh, moving on to the uh, next question. Would there be any change in the grazing fee uh, once the new grazing uh, upgrade is out? So, uh, no, the fees for grazing will uh, be the same. What is the new update with grazing? So, uh, uh, like we've earlier announced that you'll be able to see all your uh, animals, your 3D animals uh, on your farm. So uh, we are rolling out these animals and um, like uh, along with that, uh, like the concept of grazing is to send your animals away from your shed so that uh, they, you don't have to feed them. So uh, this concept we'd like to kind of materialize it and get it so, uh, get it in the game scene itself. So uh, you'll not only be able to see the animals in your shed, uh, but also uh, 
add this uh, separate grazing area whenever it is in grazing uh and uh in the first version like i've mentioned earlier there will be a limited number of animals that you can see there so say you have uh probably sent um uh a red rooster for grazing you will not be able to see it in the grazing area for the first version uh but if you send an agar for grazing you will be able to see it because that's an asset that is there uh in the upcoming version you will uh, be able to kind of uh, uh see all your animals whether uh, they are in the grazing area also or even in the shed area so that's how we kind of plan to introduce uh, all the animals as well in your uh, game scene uh there's another question uh it's regarding the cv army so how the question is uh how do i participate in the cv army events uh so this is by abdul rahman so uh there are uh, so you can join the cv army um, uh, as uh, there are multiple roles in the cv army you can join as a soldier or a leader uh this is uh, like as a soldier you will be uh, like joining and uh, assign some activities uh, like these are social activities or uh, any activity where you're uh, like helping other users or creating some content to help other users or uh, just promoting and helping around in the community uh, as well so these are uh like uh, some of the activities that soldiers uh, do in the uh, cb army and leaders manage teams uh, along with these activities also manage teams and grow their teams and kind of motivate their teams to uh, be activated in the uh, weekly missions so uh, this way uh, like there's a way for uh, you to get regular rewards we are also working on expanding the cb army program uh, so right now it is uh, quite uh, limited to the uh, uh, players in the community we are uh, working on some ways to kind of expand this even outside and also get in a lot of more uh, members uh, soldiers to the cb army soldiers leaders and just grow cb army uh, as a whole so there are some really ex- there's some really exciting stuff also coming uh, uh, with regards to the cv army uh, we want to you know share that with you as well and we'll be you know sharing that uh, in probably the next call uh, we are in the works of creating something uh, specially for the cv army as well all right i guess uh, those are the questions uh, uh, that we've received uh all right so now we can move on to the uh, community game that we've planned for today uh the details will be posted uh in the uh, general chat so uh, make sure you guys are uh, watching that <laughs>